Okay, sorry, this would be phase two. I accidentally shut off the first video after 20 minutes, so my, my apologies. But we're in that office off of the kitchen. So this could be a playroom, it could be a craft room, it could be an office, it could be an extra bedroom, but it does have a closet. And then back here is a kind of a junior master suite, and here's kind of a Jack and Jill bathroom. So kind of a thing is if the door, both doors are open, you're gonna slam into them. You just heard me do that. But a good sized bedroom. Faces the pond, which is nice. Nice views here. Then we have this kind of shared bathroom off across from that office. And there's where you hit the door. Kind of a two-door design there. That's kind of funky. But nice shot, nice uh, tub. Fiberglass tub insert with tile up to the ceiling, which is nice. Colder sinks. Uh, Above, above counter sink with the quartz countertop. Soft clothes, but melamine, which we have throughout. Walk-in closet, good size walk-in closet, like a junior master. So you guys are talking about a, maybe a master for Kirsten's mom or a living quarters, that, that would be it. We're gonna walk back through the kitchen down this little hallway. Okay, there is the pantry. There is the laundry. You're coming up the hallway. Stairs going up. There's a half powder bath, which is a nice location for that. Nice detail. Again, champagne's bronze finishes on the fixtures. Chrome on the towel bar. Chrome on those pulls. So that pulls it together, but nicely done. Down this hallway past the entryway. The great room is entering the master suite. So again, entryway coming in and there's a little hallway for the master suite kind of right off that. So I don't know how you feel about that proximity, but not terrible. I like that they use Ecobee instead of the Nest, which much more user friendly in my opinion. A little, little niche there for art into the master suite. And this is really smartly done, I think. Okay, we've got the cove crown. We got LED indirect light above that, plus four cans and a fixture. So lots of good light in here. Nice detail around the, the, mat, the master bed where you can see the trim work that's done behind there. That's just you know, sheetrock. Well, it's all MDF, so this is all MDF that's on here that's painted. So they did this all over the sheetrock. So it's nicely done. Yeah, I'd say five inch, five inch baseboards. You know, just kind of, kind of simple. And then what I like about this here is this little room right off of the mattress. Could be a sitting room, could be a reading room, could be a gym. You know, you put your spin bike here or in a treadmill. Elliptical, that's what we have in ours anyway. Nice view of the pond. You know, could be a little nursery as well, I guess, if that ever enters into the picture. So again, not a huge master, but I think a right size. Uh, master bath. This is what I was kind of interested in. A little different layout. Beautiful whitewash brick on the on the west side of it. So you got two vanities across from one another, which is nice. Makeup, so that's, a, that's obviously a hers. Very smartly done. Um, just, I just, I was just curious with the location of the tub and yet I'm not a tub bath guy, so, but not terrible. It just, just don't know, it kind of takes up a lot of space. Stand back here. So, no, it's not bad at all. Really pretty in here. Look, I get some marble tile on the 
in the walk-in shower. You get two, two um, body sprays or two shower heads here, one on a handle. Got a nice uh, soap niche here and bench. Storage, which is nice for linen, potty room. And then a little smallish on the closet. A little folding table here, which is nice, but just a little bit on the small side, but it does make good use of the space. Shoe rack. And a large hanging bar. So not bad. A little on the smallish side. So leaving the master, we are gonna go upstairs. To the rooms here again so you can see some detail in the great room very comfortable room going down the hallway there's another kitchen pantry area i like the hallways are wide the stairwell is wide it kind of follows the same finishes on the island um, Wood color in the bathrooms and uh, in the in the hardwood, so nicely done. Wall scots. Yeah, nice wide hallways. Top of the landing, you have a bedroom here. Bathroom, another bedroom. And then a bonus in media. So we'll go to one of the bedrooms upstairs. Good size bedrooms. These are really generous size bedrooms up here. Kind of a, a walk-in little closet there. Jack and Jill bathroom, as you can see. Same type of over-the-counter, on top of the counter sink by Kohler, nicely done. Um, you know, I think they could have a space here for a walk-in, but we could have a glass shower door. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, by the way, Randy, all the doors are hollow core here. They're up here. There are six, eight doors downstairs at eight o doors, but they're all hollow core. Another bedroom, which is really good size. So. They did hit a home run on that one. Okay. Another walk-in closet there. We're going to go down the hallway. There is a second furnace. Which you can see there in storage, obviously. A little desk area, which is a nice touch with the little quartz top to it in the hallway, so that's kind of a nice little deal. Ecobee system here as well for the upstairs. Bonus room, very good size bonus. Nine foot tall ceilings in here. Sliding barn doors for a media. So the room is 15 feet wide. By 21 feet deep. 15 by 21, and there's the view from the upstairs um, bonus. There's a walk-in closet right there for storage as well. And then a media room. So you've got the wiring done, already done here. I don't see speakers in there, but I would imagine that would be like a Sonos type of system. So it's 12 feet wide. Fifteen feet deep on the media, so twelve by fifteen. So that is the space up here. So again, you got you got some nice space up here, especially if you're a teenager. This would be like a heaven. I'll hide away from everybody. Going back down the stairs. Ok, 
Okay, and then now I'm back in the kitchen. So now you've seen it. Really nicely done. I'll get some details on windows and doors, but uh, the, again, the doors are all hollow core. They are 8 downstairs, 6 8 upstairs. Um, so it does a, it is a low E window, but it's uh, a little bit on the less expensive side on the window package here. But they did put, you know, the black on the exterior, white on the interior. It's just, it's not a Pella window, it's not an Anderson window or Milgard. Um, but again, really nicely done. And I will upload this to a YouTube channel here shortly and send you the links for the two videos. Call me with questions.